Hey guys, today's video is an anti-haul. I haven't done this one in a hot second, so I'll be doing it now. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Odin's I've been working with for a long time now, and I've been loving them for a long time. And I feel like every collection I show you guys just gets progressively better, and they started off really good anyway. So now they're just like amazing. I feel like the collection that they just released that I'll be telling you guys about is the best collection they've ever released to date. The formula feels high-end, the formula feels luxe, but the prices are the same. I just feel like it's an amazing collection and I was mind blown when they sent it to me. I was like, snapped. Anyway, I have uh, a look on my eyes that I'll be walking you guys through. So we have chapter one. These are like essentially little books, which I think is so cute. Look at this. So this is probably my favorite palette. Like if you look at this, you're like, yep, this is Angelica in a palette. We have like these pastels. This is what I used today and then yesterday, I used these three at the bottom. Uh, they'll be in a different sponsored video. Uh, this one here is incredible. It's like, it looks bronzy in the palette, but if you share it out, it gives it like a really bright gold look. Um, so I used this one and then I actually went into a different palette. I'll show you that one. And then I used this on the inner corner and uh, brow bone, dug my nail into it like always. And then this one all over the eyelid. Look how wet that looks, incredible. And then I just use the matte from a different palette that I'll be showing you guys. This one's amazing. This formula here is so good. We have these foils, we have these smooth ones that you can use on your inner corner and brow bone. We have these like marbled ones, which feel like cream. Then we have chapter two, which has these shades. We have turquoises, we have oranges. Uh, this one here is incredible. This one here is stunning. This one here is just like a marble of all kinds of different shades. Some of them feel like powder, some of them feel like cream, some of them feel foiled. Like these formulas here are so good. First of all, the mattes are super buttery as well. I feel like, I don't know what they've done with their mattes, but they are literally high-end feeling. It's incredible. And then they just have so many new formulas of the shimmer shades. I feel like that's where they really just excel. And I'll show you guys the swatches of that. And then this last one is probably the most exciting one. And let me just show you why. So we have this side. And actually for today's look, went in with this to deepen up the crease and a little bit of this as well, this shade all over. This one here feels like a cream shadow, but then get the other side. You get two books in one. Uh, this is one of those super smooth inner corner brow bone shades, except it's pink, as you can see in the mirror. It's like duochrome. Then we have this, it's stunning, but this one here steals the show every single time. I love this collection. Uh, they also released eyeshadow brushes and eyeshadow cleaner, like in between doing your looks. So if you guys want any of that, you can click the link in the description or use my code for 10% off your purchase. And yeah, thank you to Odin's Eye for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. I'll scoot over to the... <laughs> this side of the screen so I don't forget to do it later on. My social media links will be in the description along with my drama channel, anything else you might need to find. Now let's get back into it. So let's just go from where I last left off. I usually like to keep track of like what I did last time. So Maybelline is releasing this four in one glow perfector, which is kind of like, it's the same packaging as their makeup eraser, as their like eraser age rewind. What's it called? Like, you know, the concealer they have. So this is supposed to be like a, a foundation version of that. Now, I would be super tempted by this if Maybelline was cruelty free, but they're not. I feel like a lot of the times I would love to try drugstore products like Maybelline L'Oreal, but they're not cruelty free. And until obviously that law passes in China where it's not required to do animal testing, then I will not be able to try drugstore products. But once that goes through, I'll be more than happy to go into my local Boots stash Superdrug and get a lot of like Maybelline L'Oreal Revlon stuff. Before anyone, if you guys are wondering, before anyone says anything, I have been on a no buy and I'm still on a no buy. I still haven't bought anything and it's currently like towards the end of the month. So ha, to anyone that didn't think I'd do it, I'm doing it. Okay. So in reality, I'm not getting any of these products, but I will be just approaching this as if I had the choice, right? As if I was allowed to buy stuff. Like, would I buy this if I was allowed to buy stuff? I'm not though not allowed to buy stuff. We have Lime Crime releasing the Glimmering Skin Sticks and they're essentially highlighters in a stick. Uh, they look kind of like deodorant. I mean, you're not really gonna be applying it straight to the face or it might drag. I feel like that's the kind of formula that could potentially drag. Uh, it's also really big when it comes to like highlight applications. So I feel like you're still gonna go like sponge onto it. So I think the, the packaging is more of a novelty thing where it looks like a deodorant, but isn't. I think these could be quite cute. I just, I'm not interested in Lime Crime at all. I feel like their products just don't call out my name. As of right now, I feel like they have no like direction of where they're going with their company. So I'm not buying this. Oh, YSL is releasing another one of these handbag looking eyeshadow palettes. They look like little clutches, which I think is really cute, but I can't tell the difference between these and the last one they released. I feel like whenever these come up on my screen, I'm like, I feel like I already spoke about this. Is this like 
them releasing a product they already announced oh no it's a new product like i feel like i always feel like i'm talking about the same palette again and again with ysl they're also releasing these single shadows and these are very expensive and they're single shadows like i'm just other than that gold shade i'm really not interested in any of these even if they were like two pounds each i don't understand this product it's the drunk elephant o blues rosy drops omega fatty acids some kind of bark saperwood bark i don't really understand what these are supposed to do it's a concentrated liquid that delivers a rosy wash of color to the skin in a few drops while supporting the skin barrier with omega fatty acids i'm not really sure why you would want to have a rosy wash of color on your face like usually i feel like if people have redness on their face they want to conceal it at least that's what i do um and yes blush is very in right now but like only in this like area here i do put it up here and here as well but like i don't know i feel like just applying a like who i think like usually makeup companies come out with products that like actually people have been asking for if like has anyone been asking for a rosy wash of color i don't know you tell me so this is very weird to me i don't want it necessarily and michaela is releasing a collab with glam light so michaela is this mua that blew up on tiktok and she's releasing a collab with glam light there's a huge rainbow palette rainbow slash like natural glam two pairs of lashes these like lip glosses a highlighter i feel like the highlight looks nice but it's very blinding very icy not something that i um, I navigate towards anymore. The lashes are way too dramatic for me, not my thing. Also, they they require glue. Me and glue just don't really mesh well together right now. The lip glosses are really cute, and the eyeshadow palette is nice. The eyeshadow palette is big, and it's not something I necessarily need. But I feel like if you're into Michaela's videos, you might really like this. So yeah, as a whole, not something I'll necessarily be buying, but it's actually really nice packaging. I love the purple. Kaja is really seeing these like three pan things i keep on wanting to buy kaja right but i don't know where to buy it in the uk i don't i have hay fever it's like really bad this year <laughs> i don't know why i feel like i saw on tiktok that everyone else was like yeah hay fever's really bad this year and i'm like yeah tell me about it so i'm just like crying i don't know what retailers sell kaja into the uk and i don't want to buy makeup on amazon because amazon likes to sell counterfeit makeup products and like really overpriced so i just want to know where i can get kaja in the uk and if I can't, then maybe one time in the near or far future when I get let back into America, I will get myself Kaja from like Sephora or Ulta. I don't know where, where it's sold, but I'll buy a bunch of it and come back with it to the UK. But that's not for another few months at least. So yeah, I don't know where to get these. These are not necessarily the ones that I want. I like the ones with like the shimmer bits in them. The shimmer bits. I like the ones with the shimmer eyeshadow in there. But these look really nice as just like staple products. But yeah, I just want to try Kaja so bad. And I can't. So it's part of this anti haul because I can't even get it. So even if I wanted to not happening sigma's releasing these four lip oils i actually got sent these they're the renew lip oil in four different shades there's clear and then three kind of like pinks uh, they're nutrient rich hydrating high shine with a lot of like vitamins in there i think these are really really nice me and my mom split them half half so she took two i took two and we both really enjoy these they're not as well they look very intimidating in the packaging when it comes to the shade when you apply it to the lips it's like the slightest tint with a really nice oil no like goopiness no stickiness like typical lip oil situation but looks really stunning and really beautiful so i think i'm really really excited about these this neon collection from colourpop so they announced that they were going to be releasing a neon collection everyone got really excited and then they uh, showed the products and everyone was like that is not neon that is a pop of neon so then they started changing their captions to say pop of neon anyway this is the neon collection we have a pink yellow orange and then a pink pink orange lip gloss it's well not lip gloss it's a lip oil which means it's even more sheer so you're not actually getting the like neonness that you would get with like a luxe lip gloss instead of a lip oil so they went very safe with this one very very safe i actually watched shay that girl shay uh swatch all of these and the yellow was really like not too great but the rest were nice but like they are basically all browns like tell me you know the last two shades on the right tell me you don't have those and then the two shades on the left, like if you just take out the neon, you have this. So I'm not getting this. Then we have Artist Couture. I've wanted to try these palettes that they release for so long. They have this one and they have the other one that everyone raved about. I don't know where to get Artist Couture without going on their like actual website. Which Because I know Beauty Bay sells some Artist Couture products, but it's always just like the loose highlights. Never anything else. I want to try one of their palettes once I'm out of my no buy. That's my New Year's resolution. I'm going to try Artist Couture. And I think this palette is going to be the one for me. I think it's stunning. I think it's just natural and cute and, 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 and something I'll probably enjoy. Anyway, not buying it right now though. On a no buy. KKW is selling this camo collection with three highlighters, some eyeshadow sticks, some lip glosses, and this like camo palette. But in reality, like if you really, really focus hard on this palette, there is one green shade. 
for a camo collection to have one green shade is a little bit funky to me. One green shade, one poopy brown, one something that could kind of resemble yellow on the eyes and the rest are just like champagne and brown shades and taupes. Like if you're gonna do a camo collection, commit to the camo. Give me variations of olives and vine-like colors and give me greens and stuff. Like why? why? The packaging has more green, like the PR package has more green than the actual palette has green in it. Apparently KKW is on like a 50% discount in Ulta Beauty right now. So if you guys want anything from KKW, run to Ulta. I can't do this because Ulta not in the UK. <laughs> Ulta's not in the UK. Okay, so I can't do this. But if you guys want 50% off, go grab yourself some very basic stuff. Because that's what KKW is, very basic like stuff. But if you want basic for 50% off, it's there. But that makes me think... Are they going under? I don't know. Colourpop actually released a, another Hello Kitty collab that they... Well, they had one before and then they have now released another one. The blushes are very promising. I feel like this is the first time in a... No, second? Third. Third time that I've seen them kind of recently release deeper blushes in uh, collaboration slash collections. They have like deeper blush shades just in their like basic range, but they don't have them usually when they're releasing like actual themed collections. But I saw this change a little bit with the Wild Child collection and then the Lizzie McGuire collection had two like fuchsia pinks, uh, like berry almost shades. And then this one has these deeper shades. I feel like we're starting to see a change from Colourpop. I feel like they just kept on releasing the same like two blush shades over and over again. I was like, at this point, I don't even want them anymore. Like they go with my skin tone and I don't even want them anymore. Please just keep them. And there's these four, it almost looks like Animal Crossing to me, like the Animal Crossing collection with the, the quads in monochromatic shades. I'm not really, well this time they didn't put pressed glitters in there or the sequin shades, which is nice. I'm not a big fan of the sequin shades. I don't really see the point of them. So you have two shimmers, two mattes from what I can see. Oh, actually, nope. I think one of those is a sequin shade. That kind of looks like it. Anyway, regardless, I'm not buying this. I really don't need it. I don't need another yellow palette, orange palette, pink palette or blue palette. I have enough of those. There's some lip balms and there's a lip scrub type product. I don't need this. I'm moving on. Bratz Collection. Revolution reached out to me to send me this in PR. I don't think they've ever seen any of my videos. But if you have, then I really appreciate a company that can accept criticism and then still send you stuff. I sent them my address and then they emailed me again to like announce this again. So I don't know if they got my address or if that email just got lost in the abyss of emails. I'll see. I'll email them back. But this has already been released on Beauty Bay and it's already on sale. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. But they offered to send me this. But I haven't. I haven't heard back, so I'll I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna buy this. I feel like the palettes are huge, and I never actually was a huge fan of Bratz. I don't know why that that phase almost skipped me a little bit. I liked Barbie. I liked all the Barbie movies. I never really watched Winx either. I, that was my thing. I watched Witch instead of Winx. I definitely picked my sides. So I, yeah, I, Bratz kind of skipped me a little bit, and then like Winx also skipped me. I just wasn't. I I just wasn't into it. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm crushing child dreams right now but witch and barbie was like my thing it explains my style right now it really does the well not with this t-shirt but like the pink that i constantly yeah that explains it not buying this then we have the buxom and ash collection ash comb this palette actually is really nice i know buxom is kind of hit, hit or miss some things are super pigmented really nice some things non-existent i don't know how this is going to perform it's really nice i just don't know where to get buxom I also don't know if I need it that much. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, I just don't need it. Next. They have Kimchi Chic Beauty releasing these like trios of blush highlighter type products. I don't need it. I don't want it. Then we have MAC releasing a Pride and Joy Liquid Last Liner Vault in basically like a rainbow selection of liners plus a few like black, white, brown shades. I think this is nice if you don't have a single colorful liner then you can get these and then you'll have basically a whole collection for the rest of your life well until they dry out but if you have any of these i, I don't think you need to buy a whole new vault the 100 percent of the selling price is donated to the mac viva glam fund which helps to fight for the empowerment of the lgbtqi a plus community now if you guys don't have well if you guys don't have the liners you can buy it and 100 percent will go to the charity but if you do have some of these shades then you can just donate the equivalent to your charity of choice genius concepts with Angelica. Because I feel like sometimes people want to 
buy stuff purely to have like the money be donated instead of doing that like instead of buying products that you don't actually like that are going to clutter your collection just take the equivalent that you would have spent on that and then just pick a charity and donate i think that's a good idea then we have Bessemer Cosmetics releasing another Disney collab. It's like a compact, and these are always very expensive. I think this was like 120 or something like that. Not for me. Maybe another time. I want to. I want to see what kind of stuff they. I want to go on their website and see what kind of stuff they have on there. Because I might actually enjoy something. But I know they release these in very limited quantities, very limited edition launches, very expensive as well. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to get anything. Because I always forget to like go places on the launch date but yeah this is really nice actually then we have spectrum collections doing a collab and they're releasing these like four sets of brushes in different colors different kind of like vibes but i think these are actually really nice you know i'm against big brush sets but these i think are very curated where it's like six brushes six five to six brushes that are actually going to be like functional and are going to perform some kind of a function in your life i don't know if i if i necessarily need these but they're very tempting, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, these are very useful brushes and I like to clean my brushes very often, so I go through brushes very quickly. I have like two pots of eyeshadow brushes and I use them once and I put them in the wash and then same goes for face. I don't use them once, I use them like a handful of times before I put them in the wash. So having a lot of brushes is good. I just don't like those big brush collections where you don't actually end up using half of them because they're completely useless. I feel like these, I can't pinpoint a single brush that wouldn't be useful in my collection. So I think these are actually really interesting. Too Faced is releasing a brow wig fluffy like brow gel. I think this is actually really interesting. If it ever comes on Beauty Bay, I might try it, but I have a lot of brow gels right now. So once I go through a few, I might try this. You, you basically like brush on the hair onto your eyebrow. It must have like those fibers. That's really interesting actually. Might try it. Then we have another set of those BH Cosmetics like travel palettes we have paris and puerto rico as well um so we have more like more of these palettes plus a bronzer slash highlight palette the bronzer highlight palette is too deep for me the eyeshadow palettes don't call my name i feel like i want to be a bh cosmetics girl i don't know if you guys know what that like what i mean by that it's like everyone raves about bh cosmetics as like the next it brand the next brand to take over like ColourPop. and i just want i want to get into them but i feel like i never see something that i'm like wow i need it right now give it to me and I wish I was that kind of person. NYX is releasing these Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powders in many, many, many different shades. And this is really cool. I'm just not into the NYX packaging. Like, I feel like it always just turns me off. Because for the price point, I expect a little bit more than, like, e.l.f. packaging. Because e.l.f. is very affordable. NYX isn't, necessarily. They're, like, high-end off the drugstore. And the packaging is just garbage. So I'm going to pass on this. Mainly with powders, I feel like those, like, powder compacts break so quickly that I just can't. Be asked to deal with it then we have a putty bronzer i recently tried the putty primer and as a primer i'm kind of like underwhelmed but i expected it to be more annoying as a consistency i expected it to be more like actual putty like you can't pick it up it's bunchy it's goopy it's not actually it's actually very emollient in when you touch it on your skin it feels like the glossier stretch concealer so i feel like this is very different to what I, I thought it was going to be. So as a bronzer, I think this could actually be a really good formula. I might give it a try once I'm off my no-buy. Then we have Laura Lee doing a collab with her own niece, Erin, and they're doing like a pastel palette. I think this is very on-brand for Erin, very on-brand for like Gen Z, very on-brand for Y2K and TikTok, uh, but it's not a palette that I need or that I will pay customs for, if that makes sense, but I'm very happy for them. Nabla's releasing two more palettes. I've tried Nabla before and I was very underwhelmed with the palette that I got. Not the mattes, but the shimmers were very underwhelming. These in swatches look so much better. I don't know if I just got like an older formula maybe, like, like maybe they improved on it since then. I don't know. These are very nice. I don't need the blue. I feel like I have enough blue eyeshadows, but the other one's very cute. I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh, and they seem to have like some of these special shades. Okay, I'm thinking about the analog palette, the, the small one. I think that one's really nice. Anyway, I'll go through Nabla again. I'll give Nabla a second chance. I did a full face of Nabla that I never released because the complexion product sucked. And by sucked, I mean like the foundation and concealer. And I feel like from that point onwards, I was just so turned off. I recently tried the bronzer blush highlight again and I fell in love. Like absolutely in love. I'm wearing the highlight today. So maybe I'll give the eyeshadow palettes a second chance. I already got rid of the palette that I used in that video that I didn't release. I might give them a second chance. They released a new complexion product. So maybe I will end up doing a full face of Nabla. I tried the mascara the other day and I wasn't like, 
it was fine but it wasn't like the best so i just gave it to my mom because i had like a whole box of mascaras i and they dry out so quickly that i was like if i'm not obsessed with a mascara you've got to go so maybe i'll try like a half full face of nabla like don't buy this product that i was like underwhelmed by just buy the stuff that like that i can try again if that makes sense then we have fenty releasing a heat lip gloss which is basically a plumping lip gloss with like cayenne pepper in it and ginger and stuff this one's got like a very hot pink hue to it that I'm not a huge fan of on me personally. So I'll wait for them to release other shades because I love plumping lip glosses. I love the way they look and the way they feel, but not in this shade necessarily. Kylie is releasing, okay, so I don't know if you guys know this, Kylie basically like shut down, sold out everything. I remember when I used to try to link Kylie products in my description, I couldn't find any of them. Even like the basics, like Coco K and Candy K, couldn't find anything. Everything was on like a 50% off discount, even an Ulta. Like, some of the powder products were going for like $10 each, which is very affordable for Kylie. And then they deleted all pictures on Instagram. And I think this has something to do with a lawsuit that they're having with like Seed Beauty and Coty and a few people, a few people and brands. And I think they're re-releasing in completely new formulas. So they're doing the same products, new formulas. And they're releasing new lip kits, which are going to be lightweight, smudge resistant, eight hour wear, and slightly different packaging. I feel like these might be less drying, maybe less thick, like maybe more thin. I'll be very tempted by these. I mean, once they, I don't wanna buy like 5,000 lip kits just so I can get free shipping. Uh, so I'll wait for them to release some new products and maybe do like a comparison of like old versus new. Let me know if you guys want that because I have some lip glosses from Kylie. I have some powder products, I think. Yeah, I have a blush and a highlight, I think. Uh, I recently got rid of the bronzer because it completely just like, it was completely like hard pan. I couldn't fix it. I have lip liners, some of those like gel eyeshadows. I think I have a few eyeshadow palettes left as well. So maybe once they re-release formulas, I can do like half face old formula, half face new formula. I'm actually kind of tempted to do that. Okay, I'll keep, if I'm very close to decluttering a Kylie product, I'll keep it around in like a box just so I can compare and contrast. Hourglass is releasing an eyeshadow palette type product. Uh, I think these are like supposed to be single eyeshadows that you can put into like a palette. I don't know, I'm just not that tempted. I feel like these are going to be very expensive and they're probably not going to be that amazing. I don't know, I like Hourglass products sometimes, but sometimes I do think you can just get something else. Bobbi Brown, this collection looks really nice. I don't know if Bobbi Brown is cruelty free, but if they are, then I'll get these two duos. These look stunning. They look amazing. I don't know why, but they just look so good to me and I'll definitely be getting these if they're cruelty free. M Cosmetics is releasing one of their new, like those eyeshadow palettes that they put in these like little circles and it looks like a pizza. You guys have been telling me to try M Cosmetics for a while, okay? And I've been waiting for my moment and I feel like this eyeshadow palette is my moment because it's pink and then I'll get like a full face of M Cosmetics and I'll do that for you guys. Once I'm off my no buy. Colourpop's releasing this new collection, some kind of like a, it looks like kind of like a jungle, rainforest type of collection. You have three cheek dews. I have one shade and I feel like that's more than enough. Like they are so sheer that you won't even be able to see the difference between the different shades. I don't need the Luxe lip glosses. I decluttered a few the other day. I have those colors of the gel liners in my collection from Colourpop themselves. And the eyeshadow palette is not something that I necessarily need. Moving on. 4-3 Beauty is releasing a watermelon face polish. I love watermelon products, like the scent and stuff, but I don't need like face polishes with those little dots in them anymore. I feel like I'm way past that phase of my life. Dose of Colors is releasing a collab with Donald Duck and Daisy Duck. And I think, I don't know why, but this looks really intriguing to me. Not the lashes, I feel like the lip products look really nice. And the palette looks really nice. I probably won't get the palette because I that's, that'll be a waste of money, but I'm kind of into those lip products for some reason. There's also a new brand coming out called Otrera. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And there's going to be an eyeshadow palette. I don't really like the shape of the eyeshadow palette, but I love the shades inside. For some reason, like those greens are calling my name. There's a puff and there's this weird sponge. It's supposed to be a 4D sponge. I don't like ones that are like super skinny at the top because I feel like you can't really do anything because they bend. They constantly like go out of shape. I'm very intrigued by this brand. I'll be keeping my eye out. I love the shades in the eyeshadow palette. I feel like good shades were picked. I don't know. I'll keep an eye out on this and see where I can possibly get this and see kind of what they release in the future. KKW is releasing pot lip products with like a little lip brush. No, <laughs> not, in, not, not into it. I like cream products, but the one bane of my existence is like when you get fluff in the lip products. I mean, in the cream products and I feel like, oh, just like fluff in this and you get the fluff on your lips. I'm okay. I'm okay. Bobby Brown's also releasing these trios and it's a bronzer, an illuminating bronzer and a blush. Why wasn't it bronzer blush highlight? Anyway, these are really boring, so I'm gonna skip past this. Morphe's releasing yet another 
foundation type product. This one is SPF 30 Broad Spectrum. It's a hydrating tinted moisturizer. I'm sorry. The shade range looks quite good, but yeah, I'm just not interested in in that. And uh, Skincare by Hiram is releasing Selfless by Hiram. We have Retinol Repair Serum. We have, this is a collaboration with the Inky List. Salicylic Acid, kind of like serum, a green tea cleanser, nine cinnamide moisturizer, and a, another serum. So apparently, I think I'm gonna get this in PR, I'm not sure, I think Hiram asked me for my address, I gave it to him. If I get this, I'll definitely review it for you guys. I think this looks really good. Like the ingredients are stuff that I always look for in my products. And I think the Inky List is really good. So I'm happy to try this. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, anything on comment down below and subscribe to this videos every time. I think I'm something to do. So hit that bell, we know when that's happening. Social media links and the links in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.